Okay, so every once in a while we have unexpected business expenses. And I say that because every once in a while I get pulled over for speeding. Now, the last two times, I've only been pulled over two times in the last four years. And both of them were right after I bought a house. And I was so excited that I bought a house that I was driving too fast on the way home. So the first one happened when I drove all the way up to Logan to meet with the seller. And uh, actually, while I was meeting with him and going over the agreement with him, another investor showed up, knocked on the door because he was there to buy the same house that I had already just bought. So, you know, that was a little bit of an experience, but I was pleased that I got the property. And as I was driving home, sure enough, those red and blues turned on behind me and uh, I got pulled over and I got an unexpected uh, business expense of about $200. Now, it's been three and a half years since that happened to me, but just about three months ago, I bought a house in Tooele and I was on my way south actually. I was going through Stockton and down around into Utah County and uh, I came down that hill into Stockton and I, I was thinking, hmm, I know that the, the speed limit gets lower here as I come into town I wonder where that speed limit sign is. And then I saw the red and blues in the mirror and I got pulled over and I got to meet the, the one policeman that they have in uh, Stockton because it's a very small town and his job is to sit right on that road after the speed limit sign and I got to meet him and shake his hand when I didn't want to. So, you know, we're not perfect. We get excited when good things happen and, you know, sometimes things happen that we would rather not have happen also. but. Uh, I was able to, in both cases, I was able to do the traffic school and I did have to go back to Logan for traffic school, but in Stockton, because I live in Salt Lake, in the Salt Lake area, they have a rule that if you don't live in town, that you can just pay the fine over the internet and you don't actually have to come to traffic school. So I didn't get any points on my driving record. My insurance rates have stayed low, which is pretty good, but uh, I hope I don't get a ticket after I leave your house.